I tell the story of a white man who went up with a, I think it was the Cree, across the Barren Lands in Northwest Territories. And some days they'd have good hunting, and other days they wouldn't have good hunting at all. And it was on the days when the hunting was not good that they told the most jokes. In other words, he learned from them that this is the way you dealt with hardship, is you try to face it with good cheer. And it's the same with the meditation. There are days when it's going to go down, and you've got to find some reason for good cheer, because otherwise if you get down on yourself for being down, it just drives you even further down. So it's important to have a cheerful attitude to the practice and a cheerful attitude to your setbacks. Try to find some humor in this situation. This is one of the great qualities of the Ajans in Thailand, was their ability to laugh at themselves and see the irony in situations. So even when the going got tough, they didn't make it tough on themselves. They tried to have good cheer. When we talk about right effort being just right, it doesn't mean you do just kind of a halfway job. You do it seriously, you do it in, in all sincerity. But you've got to be cheerful about it as you do it, because that way you begin to see what kind of effort is the right effort, what it, what's too much, what's too little, where you're putting energy into areas that are not going to pay you back, where you're putting energy, not enough energy, in areas that would pay you back. It's your ability to step back, and that's the whole quality of humor, is the ability to step back from a situation and see it in a different light from what you did before. So as we go through the day, it's important that we have a, a cheerful attitude to the meditation, a cheerful attitude to our duties, a cheerful attitude to the times we make mistakes. And that buoyancy is what keeps us up, keeps us going. <laughs>